Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a little bit of update on Foxy Roxy. So far, uh, I've been accumulating some parts, trying to get some stuff done here. Um, so the entire floor of the car is now soundproofed all under the, uh, the mats and everything back there. Uh, the doors are done as well. I did put some new speakers in here. I put some kickers. Uh, kickers for the dash speakers, kickers for the rear speakers as well. Um, and I had some clarions in the door as well there. Um, a little bit of soundproofing up there. It's not done yet, but it's still still some more stuff to do there. And that's just powering this little Pioneer 12 there. Uh, in terms of other stuff that's going to be happening here, and I am looking to the Fox Body community for your advice and your input. Um, as I said before, these cars, this whole genre of car is new to me. Fords are new to me. Um, so... Right now, I, uh, I pulled out the, uh, the Dasher cluster. Um, the previous owner's already been back here because a lot of these clips, well, the other clips are already all damaged and whatnot there. That's fine. Um, I also do have this cute Asian Android unit uh, in there. Um, seems to work real great. Uh, some other stuff that I got on the go here as well. I uh, picked this up, this uh, distributor cap here, so looking forward to that. Also got an underdrive pulley as well, uh, used for use price anyways, it is new. Uh, bought this short shifter from Amazon as well, nothing fancy. Um, I have seen them before and they seem to work pretty good. I am switching the old cluster out here uh, for this new white one here. Um, obviously it's in miles, which is fine. The national's in miles as well there and the, the mileage is sort of similar anyways. Um, so I'm going to try putting some red LEDs in there. We'll see how that goes. Um, just see what the brightness is going to be with red. It may look terrible, so I might take it out and just put some white LEDs in the back there. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about the way these uh, LEDs turn out. For me, I'm good with it. Might not be for everybody, but, you know, it goes with this theme of the car being red and everything like that. So I'm pretty content with the way that looks there. Um... And because it's a 92 Fox, uh, I also got a red LED underglow kit to install here as well, along with some kick panel lighting and all this stuff. But that's just kind of what the, it looks like there. I'm pretty happy with that, content with it, and works. Uh, it's pretty good. And surprisingly enough, my dimmer switch works for the most part there. So, sweet bonus. Performance-wise, I did manage to pick up a used set of GT40P heads. So I'm looking forward to getting those on at some point. I'm still unsure what cam I'm going with. I've been doing lots of research and seeing what's out there and listening to all the sound clips and all you gurus have had these cars now forever now. So that's uh, still working on that. Um, also, I did manage to pick up another set of glass for back here as well. On the other side, the passenger side, it looks like someone was sandblasting or something like that and it's all pitted real bad. So I'll be able to switch that out. I think I'll order a new hardware kit from LMR as well. So that's just kind of a quick update of what's going on here. Uh, the Buick is still at a friend shop in Toronto. It's getting the Willwood brakes. Um, I'm also doing this complete suspension on it as well. And uh, the Hydro Boost for the vacuum kit and the Alki kit is getting installed too. But man, just look at this thing. I just love the way it looks. Like, you know what? Next summer it's going to be a fun daily. And uh, it's just, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to have it. It's just a fun car for, for cruising around. And to me, it's still really slow. So over this winter, hopefully we get some parts on there. It's going to help wake it up a little bit there. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of an overview and where we're at. And really, I have all these RCs that are here because this channel was supposed to be something with RCs as well. There's an X-Max up there. Uh, a little one little drift car there then we have a couple maxes uh savage xl conversion and there's a slash up there as well so maybe this winter i'll try to get some RCing and stuff done too um but between the buick and this they're, they're definitely gonna take up a lot of my time anyways that's just a little bit of a quick update thanks for watching all you fox body guys um anything that you see if you recognize this car or something like this cars from ontario uh if you recognize this car please drop Drop a comment there if you got uh, some suggestions for me and what I'm doing. If you see me doing something wrong, which I, I'm not going to lie, 90% of this is probably going to be 
Not, not correct, but whatever. If you see something, just, just holler at me. Let me know. Let me know, okay? Hit me in the comments, suggestions, anything like that. Uh, I do need to figure out these power lock situation because they don't work as well. But that's all. That's all winter fun stuff, I guess. Anyways, guys, as usual, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, there's not too much racing going on with the snow and stuff like that. And TRX is just, just sitting there, just chilling, just waiting. I still got the intake for the Durango to put on as well. But uh, that's just where we're at right now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.